Saburo Takashima is a senior instructor at the legendary Yoshinkan Aikido headquarters. Aikido is a famous Japanese martial art that uses joint lock manipulation and flips to control an enemy. However, for me, what is really amazing is Saburo's ability to inspire extremely young children with martial arts. He uses storytelling and Zen Buddhism techniques to magically convert over a hundred little kindergartners into disciplined martial artists. Let's talk about your, your rather unique way of teaching little kids okay. Aikido. Okay. We went and visited you in Kawagoe, which mm. is a city outside of Tokyo, mm. and we saw you handling 120 kids. Mm. You were giving an exam that day, and you were running like a military training for little kids. This was very interesting, because I've never seen such a polite, well-behaved group of 150 <laughs> little kids. And so now you're going to give us the secrets so that we can tell Americans how to control bratty children and make them behave properly. <laughs> I started teaching from the uh, meditation first by sitting seiza and focus. So have kids uh, close their eyes and then uh, forget all the things on their brain mm -hmm. and then be ready uh, for the actual instruction. And one of the main points to so, the... Well, sorry, but that's easier said than done. How do you convince kids to even sit in seiza? How do you convince kids to even do any of these things? Um, I just try to uh, capture their focus by saying some stories and some example why do you have to be sitting in seiza, what's important. Just giving some easy example that kids can understand and not just understand but also make them, they want to do it. But you tell them like samurai stories and yes, how yes, you have yes, to be yes. able to use your why, sword from Seiza. Uh, yeah, why all samurai sit in like this and you know calm or like that is because always be ready for the instant attack from behind or from ninja attack and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So kids like these kind of stories. So it's sort of encouraging. It make them feel that they're part of uh, a samurai yeah, tradition. So, exactly. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is you have to get inside their minds. Very much. It's, it's, that's, a, that's a key. Yeah. You have to get into their fantasy life. Mm -hmm. you have, they have to want to become part of this. Yes. So in a way, some story could be a little bit ex exaggerated or not true, but at the same time, there is a truth in the in in what I'm telling them. <laughs> 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 I was told by my master that martial arts start with bowing and by finish by, being, uh, by bowing. And I obviously at the very beginning I didn't understand what he's you know talking about. But then it's about bowing, it's, it's, it's about lowering yourself, being modest. And uh, I think the core of the martial arts is to understand your opponents, what he's trying to do, what he's attempting, you know. Uh, uh, so if you're arrogant, you know, and try to show off, there is no way you can see through his mind. But by lowering yourself, it enables you to see what's inside his mind. What's it like to teach a three-year-old Aikido? Um, you, again, it's about the same as bowing. You really have to lower yourself. You have to uh, bring you, yourself down to their level. You can't approach them from, from your level. There is no way because, I, uh, really, some of the kids not really, you know, human in a way. <laughs> they're still <half> animal. <laughs> what you say, they react, yes, yes, but they don't really understand. So you have to bring yourself into their level, try to guide them, lead them. It is the key point of my teaching. If you're facing a hundred, 20 kids at the same time, you have to give some example here. So their mind capture here, while before they get bored to this subject, you have to sort of prepare other area space to capture their mind. And while they're capturing here, you all of a sudden bring it to the other space. All the kids move into here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sort of. So it's a mental controlling sort of. <laughs> so use mind control. Yeah, mind, yeah. you use mind control to control these uh, little otherwise kids. Otherwise it's possible. <laughs> You actually have about four or five things you try to teach mm. in your school to help these kids really get it together. Mm. One of them is Seiza. Seiza, Seiza. Oh. That's a fundamental body structure of any, of any of the martial arts. From this position, you basically apply technique. From this position, you draw a sword. From this position, it makes you really sharpen and uh, focused rather than breaking your back, you know, curving this way. 
Another thing you teach is mokusa. Mokuso. Mokuso. Mm -hmm. Why don't you explain that? Mokuso is most of the kids are uh, very cu curious about many things and they're, you know, use, they're using their five senses, you know, uh, ears, hearing, watching, smelling, whatever. But mostly from hearing and by vision. So by clothing around their eyes, it's cut off their, you know, losing their focus, first of all. But then there's another vision inside their brain that mm -hmm. bothers them, their focus. Therefore, I just tried them to count, 10 counts inside. I didn't uh, show them that actual, uh, no, you couldn't see it, but what I teach to the kids is count your breath. Breathe, breathe in, One. breathe out, each in. Uh, after 10, you repeat the same thing. But they're still forgetting what they're. So it's a Zazen technique too. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. I use that technique. I got many ideas from Zazen as well. Mm. And you can For see controlling it. kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to control your kids in America, make them study Zazen. <laughs> Always tell them, when you bow to your partner, you think. Thanks to your partner, you can train your technique. So each other, think about first. And then, os, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. There's a feeling here. But, os, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. This is only form. You mm -hmm. can feel it, right? Mm -hmm. That's sort of. Uh, um, so you have to have feeling to the form. You just uh, can't otherwise, go, otherwise, it's, it's just empty. Yes, empty. The same as uh, uh, kata uh, form. This is shape, but the, if you're feeling, it's different. Uh, when you do aikido attack, this is only kata, like this. You know, it's only form. But if it's feeling there, it really gets you already before it comes already. Mm -hmm. That's sort of. Uh, well, that's kind of interesting. So what you're saying is that. A lot of stuff is form, but form is meaningless unless you actually get the right emotional state attached to the form. Yeah, well, energy, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, energy, yes. So, when I, sometimes when I, you, you see the kids saying, introduce themselves, Takashima sensei, it's like to recognize, you know, by saying it, you really, they're, without a choice, their focus goes to it. By saying it, loud voice, and then bowing. Respect you as a teacher, yet doesn't show you off weak, off guard, you know? So mm -hmm. it goes like this, you know? And sometimes attack on uh, kids on the head, so they <laughs> <laughs> after they take me down. Uh, also, uh, uh, teach them how to stay uh, on guard. Yeah, I'll stay on guard. Yeah, okay. sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is, it seems to really work. I, I really enjoyed your thing, uh, and I think it was good. I think the kids are learning. They seem to be very happy. They're all lined up. They were eager. They're all getting into the bowing. They're, they're, they're expressing themselves, I think. Yeah, they really are expressing themselves. Mm. And they're expressing themselves in a kind of orderly and positive way. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think they feel they're a part of something bigger and greater than themselves. Well, that's the thing, one of the things that you can teach kids through martial arts because you teaching kids martial arts, they help them protect themselves from the, you know, uh, robbery or whatever. I don't think so. Well, you can teach their, you know, spirit. Yeah. So, so your martial arts training is not against, it's, it's, a, it's teaching actually a way of life. Very much so. <laughs>